football team in a little while. Yes. We also wanted to feature what's going on inside the classroom. So let's go to Paul Adler over at the Green Forest High School. Hey, Marie and Steve, we're here in a technology classroom at Green Forest, and middle school and high school students get to do really cool things in here, like work on an electric car. This car is under construction, not quite complete. Otherwise, I'd be in it driving it. And KY3's Drew Douglas caught up with another class, and they're exploring the use of drone technology. At Green Forest High School in the East Initiative classroom, Learning sounds like the drone of little electric motors. It's, it's a class that's called Environmental and Spatial Technologies. That's what it's short for. It's a technology class with an innovative approach. It's just really an awesome class to get to be a part of. Some kids are developing mobile phone apps. Others are creating prosthetic hands with pieces made from a 3D printer. Yeah, get it up, get it clear, because as soon as you hit go, it will immediately take off and start to fly towards the waypoint you programmed it to. John Taylor is a teacher, or facilitator as he's called in this program, because he puts technology in the students' hands and then steps back. You can just tap go. The class gives students the freedom to get out of the traditional classroom and into the field of their choosing. They pick a subject that they're interested in or some type of technology that they're interested in and they find a problem based on that technology and they try to solve that problem. We don't have somebody constantly telling us this is how we do it, this is what you have to follow. And now this new model of education is really taking off. Because like the class drone, learning is driven, or rather flown, by the students. I'd like them to learn on their own because I feel like if you learn it yourself, you own it better and it's yours. The students learn how the drone works. You have, you have less than a minute. But... And if there's a bumpy landing, they do the maintenance. I got it. But most importantly, the students find ways to apply the technology, like using the drone to dabble in the aerial photography business. This approach ensures that as they enter the job force, the science and technology won't be over their heads. Students in the East Initiative class say that the hands-on learning they're getting in the classroom today may help them get jobs tomorrow. 15-year-old Nick Lubring says he always liked science, but didn't realize he could make a career out of his passion. It's let me kind of harness that, that potential and that love that I have for those fields and put it into something that people get good out of. The class has given him skills that will help him no matter what job he lands in. We get to th think on our own. We're not just someone that can only follow directions, can only do as we're told. We get to be creative in how we solve problems. Now, the sky's the limit, but Nick may have already found his calling. I think it would be really neat to be a drone pilot. Drew Douglas, KY3 News. You're looking live right now at the camera on this drone, and you're getting a chance to see Tom Schulteis and one of the students here in the classroom. This is the drone here, so they're getting to do some really cool things in this classroom. On my cue, start it up, fire it up, let's go. I'm going to hold on to it. I'm not going to let it go. <laughs> you know, we also visited Yellville Summit High School this week, and they are really getting a chance over there to work the land, and we're going to show you the fruits of their labor over there. We're going to go back to KY3 after the break. Right now, I want to let you know that we're here because of the Ozone Football Game of the Week. Wouldn't be a football game without a marching band, right? So a little bit later, we're going to visit with the Green Forest Marching Band. We're going to take off with them. Right now, here's a little treat from the Yellville Summit Marching Band. And we are the Yellville Summit High School Marching Band. And we are celebrating the Yellow Stars. Band, horns are up. Two, three, four. 